45 minutes left in the trading session. Welcome back to the close. Here we go. Look at uh, where we stand right now. Nicely positive for all three U.S. markets. 0.6 for the S&P. Uh, NASDAQ leading, though, 0.9 right now in positive territory. I'll direct your attention to the bottom of the board here. Nice bounce back for uh, cryptos. Uh, back to positive, in fact, for uh, Bitcoin. Ethereum still down just 1%. But well off the lows. Lots moving around, guys, as we head into the final 45 minutes. One of those things moving is ALF. Again, it just made another high of the day. Uh, 1563 is the current high. Uh, hey, guys, it's going to be a while when it's a close. I am short ALF. I just got off the top here. Uh, someone in the chat was asking, how high can it go? And I said 100% on the day would literally be 1560. And it had just touched 1563 at that particular time. It's a nice round number. I mean, I scalped it uh, right here for like two thirds of the position because really that's just, that is entirely just like a fun little math thing at a psychological level. There is nothing on the higher time frame that gives you any kind of a look there. So it's likely to both at the top. It's been incredibly strong. The only good thing I can say is because I took profit, it won't actually be uh, this one a bad one. Uh, but the earlier short, of course, did lose. This one won't. Uh, unless I somehow managed to go well past the stop on this final third of the position. Crazy, crazy price action, dip buying and wish and figs. Uh, so far, uh, not doing too much, but there is a big move back up in AMC. And of course, you can see Alpha moving like crazy, Sean. Yeah, Alpha is nuts. Like, I started looking at that. Brendan asked me, like, do I know anything about Alpha? And I was like, I never even looked at it. Uh, but I do know I like this show. Welcome, guys, back to the fastest 45 minutes on YouTube. And we're going to look at a few names here. Uh, we did short torch. And I remember getting, you know, a little trash talk there. Uh, why were we short torch? It was a good one. Look at this. What a move down. This always happens, man. Every day we come back and we look and say, oh, my God, why are we not, you know, short this and still part of it uh but look at that bounce there's 750 so i like that level to go long here on torch i think if we can break above right here 825 uh we'll take a torch long but for right now look at the market the nasdaq new all time highs for your nasdaq today so uh, a big nice little move big nice a uh, little move to the upside here and nasdaq gonna break that one percent so we've got palantir on board still still from the beginning of the day uh coming back down to 25 i don't know if that'll happen again but we like palantir here into the close uh 25 20 it doesn't move much guys so uh we're gonna find some names that do do a little more movement so you guys can get on them peloton up eight percent today wow roku up six percent there's lots of movements twitter as well oh my goodness it looks like uh 1568 it just got to on alf i got out at 1567 so no top wick for that short position, but it is still moving, making moves off the high there. Uh, so whatever, you get stopped out. I was going to be a quick little scalp trade for a bunch of that one anyways. And then the other one that actually just got taken off here is going to be Fig. Now, Fig does make that massive... Whoops, it's not Fig, it's Figs. Of course, I'm going to do that. Uh, Figs does make that massive move to the upside. Uh, and most of my chart loads will be able to see. It falls at 50. I mean, almost right exactly at 50 even. Tried to catch a VWAP bounce. I liked the fact that you did have a breakout right around that 47. So you get the consolidation there. It breaks down anyway. So we try to catch that falling sword. And then the other one was... Didn't get my short setup on Wish because we were looking at Torch at the, uh, off the morning, but you do get this chance, and we'll pull it back a little bit here, guys, so you guys can see. Uh, on Wish, yesterday you guys were following along. It had a floor at about 1287. Uh, makes a hold here at 1292 off that same low. Higher low up above 13. I tried it once. Stopped out at that higher low. Now we got right back into it when it immediately reclaimed. I'll give this to the low, to the actual low of the day here in uh, Wish. Only in the money a couple of cents or so, but trying to catch that bounce. Brendo? Uh, just looking at uh, Starbucks, Valeria, up 1% uh, here. Nice uh, day high just made above 112 for Starbucks, guys. Big volume came in there as we went through 112 for Starbucks. Having a nice day. Also, real quick, uh, before you go, Sean, you were just asking me uh, about this Twitter. Uh, they're going to start taking applications to test those new features. Remember, we were talking about uh, there's, there's going to be a ticketing system and a, uh, a subscription type base. So they're going to start testing some of those. So that was that uh, pop on Twitter. Okay, good. I just got, I mean, that's why I asked, Brad. I just got to do it. We saw that there was news and we talked briefly about it. Um, and yeah, it's just the testing. So that's the thing. You have this line right here on Twitter, guys. Uh, 63, basically 75. I mean, it's that, what I just drew was 80, but we topped out here, topped out, and then it stopped and go uh, back down to 63.40 there. So I'm going to go long now. 
and try to see what happens around this 75 mark. So we're long 87, it's, it's nothing, but we are gonna take a bit a little bit lower if we can get it into the 70s, uh, 74, 75 or so here on Twitter. So there it is, it's, it's three cents in the money. Now we'll see if it can take out a high 64. And remember, like this is what we're talking about, man. NASDAQ right now just blowing upside. So up that 1% and uh, you know, Powell and everybody sent it for a tizzy last week. Then yesterday up 500 on the Dow, another percent and a bit on NASDAQ. And today you're gonna you know, torch that 1%, I think, anyways, uh, near the high. It's funny I said torch there. I still have that on my mind uh, as we wait to see where this one wants to go. Still looking to see if we can get long torch down near 750, guys. Yeah, I mean, maybe should have been bottom, been bottom picking Clover Health, which came, I mean, like that 14 turn crazy, uh, gives it all back Clover uh, almost to the dime off the open oh. here to 1172. Actually, it opened a little bit higher than that. So it actually gave everything back and is now making this bounce. So I go over to Wish. Uh, with a similar setup, and that's, you know, like it goes a couple of pennies of money, comes right back to flat. But Clover making this little breakout here. Now, there is a consolidation, and there is a chance we can look at a 1250 or a pullback to 12 even off that higher low. Uh, but this one might have already come and gone. Though, as you say, Torch, I mean, I'm, I'm not getting too far away from this one here, Sean, because it's got a double bottom at 740. Uh, I kind of feel like if it flashes back down into that 740, I got the level two up. If it flashes back down at that 740, I want to catch that sword if I can, get it on a bounce, uh, see if it can make a push. Because with this level here, if it bounces, you know, maybe like 750, 10 pennies or 15 pennies off of that low, uh, you, you don't really have to have that much of a move to catch yourself a 40, 50 cent move. It doesn't have to break this 820 level, which has been resistance. That's a nice range that's tradable going into the close. As we, as we, you guys know, it's true. We have to be flat at the end of the day on these accounts. So you look for where those profitable trades in and out fast can come. The Bears coming out. I'm already short torch right now. We've got a nice little win here as it's coming to the downside with some size. Ah, it's going to break. Ah, damn it. I was going to say that size is probably going to break there. Let's put this coffee down. Oh, how do you like this mug? It says boom, boom on the side there. You can't buy it, though. It's exclusive. Okay, uh, so there's Torch. Uh, yeah, it, it's pure exclusive. Uh, yeah, so uh, here's Torch to the upside. Uh, everything has a price. Uh, everything has a price, yeah, and uh, you better pay the price, the million-dollar man. Uh, okay, uh, watch out here. So uh, there was size following this down. That's what I was trying to get at. Um, and then now you do have these bottoms, 72, 75. I have a bid in the 60s, so we'll see if it wants to push it all the way back down. We'll get out. Like, this is not, this is just trying to play some momentum. Uh, if you look at this, it's just been tick, 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 tick down. So, I mean, really not much momentum. I just think that there could be some picking up into the close. And uh, the way Torch has been down 21% today, we'll see if we can retest. So I got a bid here, 60, 60 ish, 66 or so. We'll see if we get that uh, love. But we're only short 83, so it did go down about five cents in the money, nothing enough. Uh, for us to take it and then the same thing happened with Twitter uh, where that went upside about five or six pennies and then nothing so look if the Nasdaq fails these these trades will be losers but I think you got to have you got to watch Twitter and you got to watch Torch and I have Fubo still and then Palantir so uh, there's a couple names that have some potential to move here yeah and another one of those that look it's already moved uh, and I think it's got potential to make another move here especially through 3675 where I'm about to put a breakdown trade uh, on is uh, 3D systems now obviously if you guys are watching the morning show uh, I did think that on this move we'd get another break and maybe $40 would be closer to that price uh, where you'd have the hard rollover. It just essentially has been barcoding off of this top. No real parabolic moves. I think if it rolls over through 75, I want to grab that short trade. Try to catch it down into VWAP. If it doesn't move in the next, you know, like 15 or 20 minutes so you can take that one off. But I just feel like it, up 28%, market screaming to highs. Uh, you might have a situation where some of these bigger movers uh, could come off the board and then chase some of the, uh, I guess, regular money <laughs> that's booming to the upside of the market. We're getting that 1%, and it looks like it's oh, hell looks like yeah. it's pretty Here strong. We go. But don't forget about AMC, guys. Uh, AMC making another move back towards its high of day as well. All right, so we'll say... Oh, my God. Torch. That was loud. Torching people right now to the downsides. We'll go, oh my God, uh, as Torch coming down. I, I mean, I'm, I'm literally bidding 67, guys. Uh, I told you 68 is where it just stopped. We were bidding 67s. That's unbelievable. So hopefully we can come back down. You can see us get filled here at 67. I may just change this uh, to 70 now to get this fill. I don't know why we're not getting it. I don't know what the, what, what the resistance is there uh, on that shoot. Uh, I thought we could have, damn it, now I'm going to have to wait for, I'm going to have to take 73s here, uh, take a dime. I don't know what happened there, uh, but there's Torch. We're bidding 73s right now. Hopefully 
Let me move this over there as you can see it a bit better. Hopefully, we, there it is. We got that fill there, 73. So that's 10 cents. Now we'll wait to see. I don't know. I was I was bidding 67, uh, and it stopped at 68. So don't know why. We'll take it out. That's a dime right now. So that's pretty. Awesome. What up, Beep? Uh, your uh, Microsoft there, uh, Sean. Uh, day highs. That means market cap wow. two trillion. Yeah. Wow. Uh, just Hello. just top two trillion for Microsoft guys on yeah. that day high. Yeehaw! We love Microsoft, man. The last buy we did, uh, that was 240 uh, in change. We always talk about buying softies, so uh, they always win, Microsoft. So uh, good look on them, and if you have that, I mean, this makes sense, right? Xbox, Azure, um, lots of things happening there. The cloud, that's Azure, was big uh, for them as well, and Satya Nadella is absolutely a fantastic uh, CEO. I don't know if he's president and CEO still, but uh, good, good manager there for Microsoft as we continue to watch Torch. And then Twitter, from one manager to another, Jack Dorsey here. Let's see if we can't get Twitter going there, uh, Uncle Jack, uh, bring it up through 64. Yeah, and here comes, I mentioned AMC, it's not quite there. It's only, it got to like 58, then stalled out the high of the day, shy of that 59. But Clover is coming right into VWAP here. So you want to see if it can get through that 1275, it pulls back. That would be that dip into this range at like 1230. We're thinking you want to crack that a little bit of a long. There's probably a scalp trade in the short, but I want to stay on the north side of this one. If it's up 11 uh, percent, even with that pullback, uh, I think there's some strength coming into this one off of that low. Clearly, I mean, I'm sitting here and wish and it's doing absolutely nothing. But I think Clover is the one that's got to go. And I'm going to mention AMC uh, because it's moving. I didn't even trade this one today. I wanted to focus on the stocks that I felt better about uh, this morning. I think that's probably what led to some success because it's easy to get wrapped up in AMC when it's going. But this is what I meant. It just turned around off 59 and is trying to scream back in. These uh, wicks didn't happen. I think if you're looking at that dip, forget about 56.50. If it does make that little cluster, uh, this little dip off this cluster, you're probably looking at 55.50 to 55.75 for that quick sort of rubber band and rebound trade. Figs is doing nothing but barcoding since we got out. It's still holding off a of VWAP here. I think like you got to keep in mind where this came from, right? Like let's look at this here. Like it's essentially gone up, like a $14 move bottom to top here off of this consolidation. So if it were to roll over and you see 44 at the close, you should not be surprised. Figs has been an unbelievable story the last couple of days for this uh, medical scrubs maker. That's what they do. Yep, that is what they do. And uh, just to give you guys an update here, Torch, the, the size is following it down. So uh, hopefully, again, it's just been here. I mean, they take it out. I feel like my... Yeah, my layout must have changed a bit here because I'm not, uh, maybe I'll just move this over a bit. Uh, okay, so here we go. So we're going to watch out for Torchlight. Uh, a good trade so far. I don't know if we're going to revisit the bottom, but we've been shorting this. Uh, well, we just made one short there at 83, and we're going to watch that go a little bit. Palantir, back to 25. Not, you know, not horrible, but again, look, if you're not part of Palantir when this kind of stuff happens, like we were there, like look at this get here. Uh, 2501, guys, out. 2530. In 25.05, out tens, nothing was happening. Then we waited for VWAP out 22s. So that's a good little move there for uh, Palantir. Now we'll wait. If I can get it back to 19.20, we'll just take it out uh, and then put that in our pocket. We're long at 02, so we're okay. But here goes NASDAQ now taking out the highs. So that's going to be good. That should be good for our Fubo trade. Should be good for our Twitter trade, but Twitter not moving. So again, we must have picked the wrong one one more time uh, when we should have just gone right over to NAS or sorry, Microsoft, a big NASDAQ name as Microsoft still now ticking even higher and higher and higher. I see you, Daryl, on the chat, man. Microsoft, I... I, I've owned Microsoft, and I talked to Randy about this. He owned Cisco for a long time. Like, I have 30 prints in my account on Microsoft. What's up, Brendo? Uh, somebody was asking about this uh, global star, GSAT, G-S-A-T. Conveniently, uh, just trying to test day highs. Yeah, 21% for GSAT today. Nice volume coming in here. I mean, technically, uh, it looks pretty good. We had uh, a couple additional analysts initiating coverage on this one today on the positive side of things. I mean, uh, a little bit light on the float at 700 million, but uh, 2 billion, so small cap. But yeah, nice technically. Trying to get up to $2 maybe. We were high as three going back a month or two ago for GSAT. And that looks like a triple top, which is an interesting coincidence because, uh, by the way, stick around at the end of the day because we always have that little trade of the day uh, action for you. Uh, plug power, a uh, bit of a technical play as well as post earnings. And it just happens to have a triple top as well. It was a great long off the open here, but uh, one, two, three times we've tested this rather random price of about 33.83, uh, uh, which gives me the idea that I want to work into the short. Well, I already got the short here in front. You would have seen that pop in, got 76s. And then you look for that break. If it wants to break out, this one could get going. 
Plug is at least a name post earnings that, you know, when the imbalances come at 350, uh, we'll have to pay attention to it. You saw yesterday some price action. Uh, when we get those imbalances coming through, there can be some uh, movement in the market or a specific, a specific stock. So you don't want to get caught with your pants down. You can expect that move uh, can sometimes come in. Plug is in that list. I'm not too concerned about it uh, when it comes to like a wish. It doesn't usually have much of an imbalance, but plug power, uh, that would certainly concern me a little bit. Got the short. We'll roll into a long if it breaks the high of the day. Plug up 13% and still trying to go. How are you not short alpha? Or are you short alpha there? Just ticked out 15. Sweet through, Christmas. Through 15, yeah. Uh, 15, 60 now. Uh, oh, sorry, I was looking at it on the wrong screen. Uh, duh. Uh, okay, here goes alpha there. Yeah, and back down to 1450. So a big move to the downside there on alpha. I mean, big, I don't know. Uh, but big for alpha, I guess, today on the downside. <laughs> yeah. We don't have too many down candles. Uh, 1560, 1568 uh, right there. Yeah, you know, good top. This is the thing, man. When Neil's over, I got to start looking at some of these crazier stocks because there's so much money in these names. <laughs> Maybe you'd still be shorted. I'm laughing at myself. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm laughing at myself, but I'm crying inside, guys. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean... I made, the to I made one penny from the top wick when we first came on here on that short because I was like, it's literally up 100% if it breaks 1560. And that was most of the rationale. What's weird is sometimes random percentages like that from, the, from like a breakout level, a 25% move from a breakout, 10% retracements, 100% moves on the day. Like there's weird things like that that cause turns. Uh, honestly, like traders are all human and, and then robots as well. So you do get action like that. But that's a great look. I mean, thank you, Brennan, for bringing this one to everyone's attention because I don't know if there was a better long today. That's for sure. Uh, no, I, I mean... Not who knows? Up 89%. Wow. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we're just going to keep looking there. I just want to bring everyone's attention to that torch because I'm very sorry to Alf because it did make that pullback in there. So we'll watch it. Uh, you know, torch still not doing anything. So we just talked about that quickly. We could we can look at Ethereum. I mean, it's back down to 19 there. It did make a nice move off the bottom. Brennan started the show with that. So we did start a nice bottom at 10 o'clock. Oh, yeah. So when you guys were talking uh, earlier on, if you're watching the show here, my favorite of all... Cardano, and uh, thank God Greg uh, got into some Cardano as well. And uh, look at that, man. A dollar? Like, I, I talked about this on the show, so you're welcome if you were able to take that trade because right now, current Cardano price, uh, of course, a dollar 18 right now uh, as we tip down to that 99 cents this morning. So there you go, 18% in just six or seven, not even, hours. Uh, so that's a good little run there for ADA. So watch out for that one. There are some nice, uh, obviously, uh, nice opportunities now in the crypto space as Bitcoin 33 again. Like, it turned positive today. So how much better can we get for a rebound? I guess there are buyers there. Let's see tonight when China turns back on and uh, we'll see some of the trading tonight into tomorrow morning. So fingers crossed. Uh, with that one, and then uh, Twitter's not doing anything. What's up, Brendo? Uh, looks like the market trying here, guys. 0 0.74, 0 0.75. Powell testimony, uh, test, testifying currently uh, apparently just said he, well, the Fed will not raise rates on inflation fears alone. So heads up on the overall market. That might be uh, a bit of an uptick. Uh, I wanted to point out this Peloton as well, because another one at day highs, or it was a couple of minutes ago, trying to get back to day highs. We had this spike earlier on uh, a couple of uh, news items. Uh, they're going to make an armband type of product, uh, wireless wearable product. Uh, also, they're going to have some sort of corporate plan, guys, for Peloton. I like both those new pieces for them. Um, one, one company which is going up, at least in the short term, but, I mean, I can't say anything too good about it, uh, is Wish, Contents, Context Logic. I'll spit that one out as best I can. Uh, finally makes a break. It's a little bit late to that party. There were a lot of stocks making this a little kind of a bottom here. And the first time we got stopped out, right before we came on the show, and then got right back into it when it did not take out the lower of the day. That's where the stop probably should have been the first time. We just got into VWAP. You can't ignore 1375 here. If it gets to that price, I'm just selling. I mean, I don't believe in this enough uh, to think that it's going to go past that 75 area here. Maybe it does, uh, but I'm not going to make that bet. If 33 50 goes on plug the reverse long i'm gonna get out of that one uh but that's actually that's 80 i don't want to uh, that far there i'll hang on to this trade to give it a chance to get to that 75 area here on wish um, but I'm not, now not going to give it past this like 1350 area. If it breaks down below, forget about low of the day. You hit two price targets like this with about 25 minutes to go, and you don't want a winning trade to turn into a loser. So I will be covering this around break even if it does try to come back.
Yeah, that's it. I, I mean, and that's, I mean, I'm trying to hold on to some stock here. I'll turn the losers into oh, okay. winners into losers. Like Twitter was seven or eight cents, but it's just, it's a different beast. It's not moving. I'm hoping that we can test that 64 area. We talked about getting some more long uh, into the seventies if we can, and then we'll watch out. And what we're looking for for Twitter is just right here, uh, 79, breaking to the downside, and then we'll dump it uh, if we get like near 60 or so. But I don't know. I, I'm losing, losing interest, to be quite honest with you. Uh, in this trade right now, it doesn't, it's not moving. Uh, this is the, literally the definition, as my kids say literally all the time, literally the definition of barcoding right now. So I could take another bid here, but uh, you know, I'd rather just take it around here, and then we'll see what happens to the upside of uh, Twitter. But for right now, nada on Twitter. So let's move, 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 let's just straight up, move away from it. I mean, we'll hold it and we'll watch it there. Uh, Microsoft plug, Apple. Wow, Apple, good movement on Apple, uh, guys, today. Uh, Apple up that 1.2% now and cruising 134 yeah, uh, now. What a good move. Uh, shoot, I can't show it to you, but what a good move app. Oh man, we have so many bad wow. picks. Uh, what a good move Apple made from 124, 125, guys. It's just been a nice little move. One, two, three. As NASDAQ hits all time highs, I, I think Apple needs to trace back to that as well. So uh, watch out for some Apple. We'll trade that in a bit. We've got to clean up this uh, chart. Yeah, something that's trying to go as well, and I keep seeing this setup over and over. Like the market's screaming to the upside, but you do have some names that were under pressure that are trying to participate in the move. Neo down five percent is one of them. Is one, two now three times off forty four twenty, four twenty. It is what it is, guys. Uh, I mean, you can't make it up. This is the truth. This is, is the three levels here at 420, 4420. Uh, if we bounce off the, or bounce through this, I'm taking the long break. I think you can scalp it into that 4450, maybe up into VWAP as well. You have a couple of levels to this downside, so we're going to catch this. It's, ba it's basically been sitting here uh, trying to test that level uh, for a couple of minutes. It's not the first time that it's done. Uh -oh. so I only want that breakout here on uh, NIO. Oh, and, my God. Uh, oh, overnight AMC. Ooh. Yeah, right now we have arrows down on torch uh, is what we're looking at right there with the oh my god there. Uh, arrows down on torch. It does base. Oh, it does right there take out the low nah, close to the low of the day. I thought the low of the day was 50 there, uh, but it's not. The low of the day is 42. So we get right there, right there, and uh, it doesn't bounce. It bounces. So it gets to. I was watching. It got to 55 there. So that's a 30 cent win. That's probably a decent spot, man. If we can just get this torch out next time, uh, right around here, right at 50, we'll do that. So we'll put a bid at 50 and just get it out. And uh, hopefully, if it keeps tanking, that's great. Uh, congratulations if you hold it. But for me, we'll take this torch out next time it comes down here. And it might do that right now. So we'll take it out at 50. And then that's a 30 cent win, man. We're short at 83. So we took that right in front of you guys. So let's wait to see if we can get that 30 cents. That's decent. No matter what platform you're trading on, hopefully 30 cents means something to you. So uh, downside 53 is where I'm going to put my bid. Uh, so you're asking about an overnight hole in AMC. I mean, I don't necessarily love it. There is that SEC rule, and I'm not going to read. The, I mean, it's uh, it's a bunch of numbers, and if you haven't heard about it, SRNSCC 2021002. I put it in the chat a little bit earlier, but it is regarding um, some some of the rules regarding you know, essentially hedge funds and uh, their ability to hold shorts. Usually, they would check in uh, for liquidity purposes like once every month, and then they might have to get you know, essentially uh, called uh, and then cover cover those trades. You're looking at potentially every single day uh, them having to make that calculation for, uh, for their liquidity concerns. And uh, what that's going to do to the meme stocks or the squeeze stocks, I really don't know. I'm looking at Alf because it's making the move here, but this concerns mostly uh, like your AMCs and your, and your GameStops and some of these other squeeze plays. Will this cause bigger and more, and more squeezes or mini squeezes throughout the day? As every single hour, they're going to be checking large, large short uh, positions on hedge, for, hedge funds, and then they're possibly going to get called if there's a big move. I don't know, but it is coming to effect uh, tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. That, to me, is the reason why you'd be holding this overnight. I mean, we just got that 5150 uh, a level on AMC that just made that nice little hole all the way back here. You'd have to think that there's going to be these same levels to the upside that provide resistance if we're just going technically. So if 57 half, $6 to support, $5 to resistance doesn't make a ton of sense to me unless you think this catalyst will have us blowing through the 65 level tomorrow, which... I mean, I guess anything can happen. At this point, you can't bet against these things. All right, come on, Torch. We are on the bid right now, and it looks like I, I'm pretty sure we'll get this. Uh, you know what? I might just do... I'll let's cancel this. You know what? Let's... let's I don't know. I was going to say, so right now I'd get this bid. I'm almost certain about this. I was just going to crack through 55. 
I almost want this to try to crack and then, okay, so that's good enough. Uh, okay, it's 750. All right, so here it goes. So here goes Torch down through 750 right now. Uh, this is a big win for us, guys. So we'll hit the Siren and we'll go like happy times as it looks like it's trying to bounce. So there we go, we'll get out. Bang, there it is. Yes, sir. Someone asked about the Montreal Canadiens. They can't win. I thought someone said they could win tonight. They cannot win tonight. Huh? It's series is 2-2. So we'll see. Uh, we're taking it easy there, Trader TV, Randy. Um, were you saying Montreal's going to win or lose? This is the going, da lose. going down. Wow, down. wow, Trader TV, Randy. He's not uh, a real Canadian. Very, very patriotic of you there, Randy. Um, but uh, anyways, Vegas and Montreal, both fun cities. So it's very, very cool that at least they're competing to each other. Okay, there it is, man. We're raining down the cash on Torch, so forget about the hockey. We will wish, I will wish, anyways, uh, mad love for Montreal. Hopefully they can win, bring it home. It's been like... 78 years since a uh, Canadian team, that's way not the truth, uh, has won the Stanley Cup. It just feels like that. So bring it home is what I say. There's Torch. We just weren't letting it break 50. If you guys don't have a retail count uh, or, you know, a level two, I should say, I guess, on your retail platform, then um, this is what it looks like. And you, you do have some big size there. Not that that matters in the 200 million. It doesn't. Uh, each one of these is represented by 100 shares. So, you know, when you do see some size on there, that's like when you look at a chart, a chart is one thing, but that's another floor right so when you talk about support off of a level two we do have videos out about that that's what that looks like so i'm going to get out ahead of that and if i wanted to you could always just go short again on a 50 break mind you it is ssr short sale restricted down more than 10 percent i may just get out of this twitter though uh, as we are getting up to 64 again right now we'll just take this in our pocket and run away i don't know if twitter's going to do anything guys I did get that trigger into uh, NIO, and uh, I'm going to hit this one. I'm going to power it up. It's actually flat. I haven't really gone anywhere, but uh, England's up one nothing, so I'm pretty happy about that. There is a battle being waged uh, uh, here at 16, still on ALF. I mean, just back and forth. It goes up. 1610, it's back down to 1580 uh, right now. So you're still getting this nice little cluster up here. I can tell you that wish. I wish it would break. 1350 definitively and actually hold above but you're seeing a teeter at view off look if, with about 20 minutes to go or less than that it needs to make that move up here and i can get this out in that cluster here otherwise we're going to take the smaller win and just run away from it neo was a bottom pick by so i can give that one to the low of the day also though neo could have an imbalance you never know with that one yeah, I guess we could have held out on Twitter till it imbalanced. There we go. We just took it out right there. So there it is, 87 to 94 or 93, whatever it was, six pennies. Like, I don't know. I, I, I wish it was more, guys, but we'll go two for two so far uh, with this. Uh, like, six pennies on this. I don't know. It, it feels ridiculous to do that but uh that's what we'll do torch now bouncing around as well we would said that we like the um you know some of apple's uh, movement there and we're breaking through 134 if it could get to 134 so that's you know that's a level that we're looking at it's that 133 70 right now palantir rate still 15 cents in the money but approaching vwap so i think we'll probably take that out maybe and then when we get back from brendan we can look at the toronto imbalances we saw a good one on Friday. There is rebalancing again this Friday with the Russell, so uh, we'll check that out. What's up, B? Yeah, we saw a few uh, names being added to the Russell we were talking about. Uh, if you joined us this morning, uh, Corn Ferry. Shout out to the Corn Ferry Tour uh, if you are a golfer. Uh, All-time highs, guys, for KFY. They reported better than expected earnings. Just cleared that, uh, or it was a little bit earlier, but just cleared that final level there. 69 and a half. We're up to 71 almost for uh, KFY. Hmm. Here we go. And uh, Rob, for a juggler, you're dropping a lot of things around here. Uh, our production team, Rob, he's not on the ones and twos. So I'm not sure what's going on over there. Uh, but he's juggling and dropping things randomly in front of me. This is a look at Neo, guys. It was just a consolidation break. Apologies for that little wick down here. Low of the day sits at 43.80. Uh, this is the break here, 43, sorry, 44.20. I got 21 to this long side. It's doing absolutely nothing. And um, look, if Daniel's not going to make a move when it has this, you know, three times to test this level and tries to break it, if they can't go in the next couple of minutes, I, I might just take this off. There's no good reason why uh, when you coil up like that in a stock like Neo, uh, you don't get some kind of movement here. So if it doesn't go uh, before 350, I'll likely cover this, even if it happens to be flat, uh, which is exactly what's happening with 3D systems as well. It made that breakdown, got in the money like 20 cents and goes out of the money like 30 and then we're right back uh, in the middle here. You're not getting any continuation for a stock which had done all of this today. The retracement I thought would be up at 40, so there was no turn for me to catch off the top. But again, if it can't do anything, I'll just be hanging on to Wish at the end of the day. And then, of course, looking at ALF. That's the one that we cannot get too far away from because it is still battling up here at 16, guys. Pulled back into 1540. You might have thought it was going. It looks like it's about to take out the top here on ALF. I've, I've had two shorts. One of them was kind of okay. The other one stunk. 
Uh, and now I'm looking at, what, are we going long? 1620 at 345? That seems crazy. I bet you if I do, the break is actually going to occur uh, at, four, at, at, four, at 4 o'clock. Like, I'll go long on ALF now when it breaks this top, and then the real move to, like, 17 will happen at 4, and I'll have to be flat. All right, well, power positive thinking there. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm joking, man. I know, I know. You'll, it'll go up. Let's hope the ALF can go up there on your long for sure. Um, okay, Palantir's right at VWAP right now, so uh, we'll probably get that out. Oh, okay, here's Torch. I just want to show it to you one more time, and we'll see if it breaks this together, guys. So here comes Torch uh, trying to hit this out. You're going to see a whole bunch of red stream when that happens. Then you'll see this 50 go, and then, see, there it is. So those are all dark pools. You'll see, can you guys see the, yeah, you can see the letters. So KKPP there goes it up. Bye-bye. Can, I can't punch it because I can't go short right now uh, because I, you'll, I'll need to offer 51s. But you see, it did not break. And then bang, see that straight to the upside. Look, that's the thing. If you're, I, I talk all the time about the show and why I'm doing this and what the purpose is. Like I could be sitting here trading and not showing any of this to anybody, okay guys? But you just saw that happen. It went from 50 up to 58, 54 again when it doesn't break. So those are things that you're not going to see on other shows, man. This is live market data. These are real quotes. This is actually what's happening. So, you know, instead of sitting here and just looking at a chart and be like, oh, I was wondering what was going on, you just saw the resistance there uh, at 750. So, you know, that was that. I was really happy uh, to be able to show that to you guys uh, live here on Trader TV. Dot live, Mr. Wickens. Uh, worth mentioning, guys, there was an IPO today that uh, did open very late, uh, but volume's been actually pretty good on it. I'll show you in a sec. But uh, China's full truck alliance uh, valued at over $24 billion on the market cap side. Uh, heading southbound in a hurry here. YMM, 12% on the day. But, uh, yeah, back to day lows for this one, guys. Well, that's not being received very well. And, uh, look, it... it we're still battling here in Alpha. It's kind of crazy. It's holding up uh, pretty nicely there. But I did say if Neo doesn't start going, uh, then I would just give this one up. And it's still doing absolutely positively nothing. I might just get on the offer in the next couple of minutes here. It's before 350 uh, still, so I'll give it like one or two minutes. And if it can't go, and it's the same thing with 3D, Alpha is going to make some moves here at the close. There's no question about it. And then Wish is the other one that we got on. And it was a good trade off of that low. It's now starting to turn around off VWAP. So, you know, I might tighten things up and give it, give it out to like 30 to 35 just to make sure it's an actual winning trade here but you're not going to be able to wipe a smile off my face unless england manages to blow their lead that would be ridiculous i mean they've already tied scotland to a draw when they should have won that match so uh hopefully they can pull this one out sean my dad said what the other day england just drew scotland they drew scotland in the second match and they're up right now oh, yeah, that's right but sean my pops who is not like he's only brazil everything about brazil he was like i don't think anyone can beat italy those are words out of his mouth and he's the last guy to expect to say that yeah, down Scotland. with every team except for Italy. Yeah, he, well, your dad is a smart guy, so there you go. Um, you know, no one can beat Italy, it's so get, get used to it, guys. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Oh, thank you so much for that. A nice little super chat flying in there. Uh, thank you, Matt Walsh. BGN, any guesses on that? BGN. Um, well, I, I'm not sure what currency that is but uh that's fantastic thank you so so much it doesn't really matter uh, what it is because there's the money raining down as you guys can see thank you so much matt and thank you for everything guys everyone's saying sean preach preach Bulgaria. preach i mean yeah i could be I, I could i guess i could be a preacher uh at some point a priest i don't think about a priest uh but uh, i don't know if i'll qualify for that uh, okay but there we go guys uh palantir look at this one guys this is what you want you like the sirens so hit it again it's almost like there's a goal happening we take out a piece a piece, very, very small piece there uh, on Palantir. Now we go to the upside, probably worth taking out. Oh, yeah, and guess what? Torch, just torched downside. We tried to get the short. My order went out uh, when it broke 750, and we didn't get anything. So instantly to the downside, we obviously got out there when we saw that 50, but look at that break. Remember I showed you the size on the level two? Look what happens when it breaks, man. Straight down to 715. And if you're not part of this, guys, then please, just, it's free, it will always be free, maybe, and you can see here, upsize offering, $10 short side on Torch, there it is, man, 28%, 
called the whole damn move, and there it is from here. I mean, not only did I call it, I have it, guys. 1022. You're not going to find a better print as the market's open today than what I have right here. 1022. That's the high of the day. Uh, maybe it waked up here. 1021. I have 1022 short there. So that's a great price. We're down to seven and change and breaking. So how you like that for a call? And there's Palantir, another 26 cent win. So yeah, we're pretty happy today if you can't tell. Yeah, Neil actually made a move here. So I guess if you complain about it enough, it's going to start to go. I got this cluster here and we can hopefully take this one out. As it now moves in the money, we can hold it maybe through that 350. If I hadn't taken anything out, I probably wouldn't. If it comes a buy imbalance, that'll actually work out in my favor. Likely to get that fill almost immediately in the next minute or so. But Brendan, uh, you got news for us here? A uh, little one, guys. We had uh, This one actually came to market last week. This is uh, ALZN. Uh, is an Alzheimer's uh, company or a company working on an Alzheimer's treatment. Uh, if you remember, we actually talked about this last week though, at one point. Just popped up here on volume, uh, trying to get back to uh, some decent levels, $9 ahead, but not seeing anything. Some uh, chatter possibly flying around for ALZN. Yeah, I've already, I, I, I've bet Italy, I just see DraftKings, it makes me think about it. I, I bet Italy every single game uh, so far, and I already have them. I guess it's, it's Austria, I guess. Next, irrelevant. Uh, there it is. So we are now out of Palantir right there um, for a nice little win. And yeah, no, I mean, I, you know, I could be a Cardinal. I see everybody talking on there. Uh, the one thing I could not be, I would not qualify, would be a rabbi. So I, I would not be able to do that. Um, can we do a segment with overnight swing trades, uh, Dan? Yeah, I mean, we could do lots of stuff. Uh, believe it, we could do lots. Um, okay, there it is. Terry Jacobs, thanks so much, man. Uh, too many to name. Hey, thank you for watching. That's what we're talking about. Small caps missed it. Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to be, like I said, I'm going to be looking now at stocks like Torch and Alpha and all that for you guys uh, because they're just, I'm able to make good money on them, including Wish today as well. So there's a couple good ones there. Uh, Torch is doing tons of volume here uh, in and around seven, guys. So, oh, 350 is in the building. Uh, quick little look here. Hey, there's... Palantir, guys. Wow. Are we, like, hitting the sirens a lot today? Uh, we got out of Palantir. We didn't know this was coming. So, whatever. That, that's a big bump. Should have held on to some, whatever. If this is a sell, it's the other way. But how about our Palantir call from 1850, let alone from 9, where we're long? Uh, but, yeah, 1850, we put that bid in here and took it off that blowout earnings that, for some reason, that day was down 20% uh, on earnings, and then it just took off. And then ever since that day, man, 1850 long on Palantir, we're cruising. I've already called 30 by end of summer so we'll wait to see if that could come through we need a couple more upgrades for that dropbox i guess is that dbx uh what's that doing that's a daily chart let's see what dropbox is doing nice little move downside neil, if anything neil. changes we'll have a look at this neil and uh tlt on there. that's a weird one uh, back at that high of the day is that alf but i said at 350 you might get a little bit of a spike i didn't see neo on there i went over uh because it spiked up and actually gave me a bit of a chance to get out at 40, 4440 but i don't actually see neo on the imbalance list so it might be something small either way at this particular time time of day it's still in the money i'll take a scalp win if that's all we're going to get here so i'll get all of these legs out here in nio wish uh because alpha is going and that's the one i want to hang on to still below vwap so i'll probably just plunk myself here in the offer and see if i can't get out not going to give this one back into break even but alf made another move at the high of the day still holding the top i actually took a few more shares here near the top i'm like if this is gonna be the only thing i have on i'll try to scalp some out in front of 1650 if it makes a pop but i gotta figure there's gonna be some people that are thinking oh take profit take profit take profit um, but they seem to be holding up every time that it slams down there is some buying in that 1550 range so because i have a more defined out i've seen that bid pick up at 1550 uh, with eight minutes to go i can focus on this one alone i added to it here and i'll give it to that 50 cent mark and then see if we can't get the move into 1650. i'm sure the break will be at four o'clock i mean the way it's setting up here if it doesn't pull back past 50 1550 it's a hard it's hard for me to believe that there won't be some actual buy action after that 4 p.m move Either way, I'm now out of wish, so it's only going to end up being like a 20 cent winner on the last of it. All eyes now on ALF for me. Can it take out the high of the day and sustain the move? Yeah, we've only got FUBU long there as Torch bounces off 7, up to 720. Here's GSAT uh, brought to us by Brendo earlier. Uh, highs on a daily chart. It can get going, man. So, I mean, we're not even close yet. Uh, this is back in January, February, but that's when all the stocks were going ham. So watch out for that. And, and Neil mentioned, again, there's some new rules coming about the shorts and reporting and things like that. So that could start to squeeze a couple different firms outside if they have to start reporting uh, what their short positions are intraday if and when asked. We'll have to read over that bill or legislation or piece of financial 
news. I have it up, and it's like, I'm, yeah, I'm trying it, to shoot through it. It's boring. We're, we're going to have to see how it goes. But uh, but anyways, that could cause a, a little bit more squeeds if exactly they have to report their positions and they're a little offside. So uh, we'll watch. But GSAT right now, 188. Uh, we'll, well, how much time? Uh, there's only four minutes left. Again, I like this. I, I would take the long. 22% is not enough there. So we'll wait to see where it goes. I would take the long. But again, I don't know if it's going to do anything in the next couple minutes. What's up, B? Uh, we were talking earlier, guys, about uh, Amazon Prime Day. Uh, first day was yesterday. I just saw a note saying uh, day one of Prime Day generated $5.6 billion, with a B, of sales. So Amazon coming in a bit. Still up 1.5%, though. Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's not always a mover for them. Realistically, it's obviously fantastic uh, for if you fa catch some deals. I haven't seen anything too interesting for me yet. But uh, uh, for those of you that are paying attention, Amazon, uh, this is not going to necessarily move the needle for it. Uh, there goes plug and another high on the day. Stick around. It's going to be the trade of the day here. What we were looking at after that spike in the pre-market, uh, and you can see, like, this is the bottom of both those retracements. So we'll talk a little bit about uh, how we got into it, what the plan of action was. Always good to review trades, winners, losers, everything in between, uh, so you can learn. That's what we're all about here guys but uh that short was uh, pretty he pretty muted got one nice little move here and then you got that break to the downside looks like it's trying to take out 34 even which is a more interesting high but i have all eyes on alf which continues to hold the line uh at the top it it's crazy to me like you don't usually see uh this kind of a consolidation this long you would think after it's failed so many times breaking out that there'd be more people running to the exit saying okay it's not going it's not going i've taken the i've taken this breakout Let's get out, let's get out, and you're just not seeing it happen. It's not even dumping into that 1550 anymore. Uh, I might have to get out of this one manually, so I'll have to cancel my stop order at some point and then just work the trade uh, manually here. But it's still at 16 even. It can't, I can't believe it. I was joking around when I said, oh, it's probably not going to make the move until 4 o'clock. I, I really was honestly joking about that. Um, we're about four minutes away from that possibly being uh, the case. So I, I just got a message here from my 19-year-old in university here. He has a stock competition. He could pick any New York, NASDAQ, or TSX stock uh, to trade. And then he has to get to pick three, it looks like. Uh, three, yeah. And he needs it by end of August. Which one should he take? Um, and I just said... And he's apologizing now because he's realizing I'm on the air, but it's fine, buddy. Uh, hopefully you're watching. I can talk to you right now about it. And I said, well, do you want to look smart or do you want to take some shots? You know, because if you want to look smart to your teachers, then you got to sort of play, you know, the summertime and it's slow and you might want to get some dividend stocks, things like that. But if he's trying to blow it out, guys, put some notes here. I'm going to talk to him about what, what to take. I'm wondering if you're just in it for two months, I'm going to do some research. But what stocks would you guys take uh, if you can only invest for the next two months? months and you're in some kind of a contest obviously it's not going to be the facebook's of the world hey maybe he takes torch uh we don't know okay uh twitter right there i'll, I'll get back to you my friend uh my friend my son uh okay so we just take their seven cents on twitter it looks like we did a good job there getting out at the high the other trade that we had on for you guys uh here was this torch short so i'm really really happy i hope you guys counted out uh some of the money there yeah plug no no not palantir guys not palantir that's not a good one uh for that and uh tesla yeah tesla's not bad either Clover. Yeah, see, these are the kind of names I'm thinking as well. I was thinking Clover uh, as well. XL Fleet, something like that. Uh, take a risk. Don't do Ride. Maybe Fisker, something like that. Anyways, those are my thoughts. Did I hear that there was DraftKings news uh, as well? well uh, up to 50 is pretty nice for DKNG. A I nice move today for DraftKings. Some nice volume coming in here. So, uh, yeah, that's a good one. No, not Rocket. Uh, I'm not doing Rocket, guys. Rocket, I'm invested in that. That thing's a dead dog. But with the uh, possible bump ups and down uh, with the shorts. Maybe Rocket is a play. Only three minutes to go. The real, there's two questions. If, if it has to be New York Nasdaq, of course, as it does preclude some names. But the thing about those competitions, it's like if it's winner take all, there's always such a high percentage of people that are going to make that like sort of home run style play that if you, if you just have to come number one, uh, you got to take a real shot at it. That's that's the only reason I think that you would play a, qu a clover type of move. Just find something that's depressed, that has the breakout, that has the short interest, and maybe with this rule change, you can go for it there. The EV space is a hard one uh, to avoid. Maybe look at some like a biotech if you can find one uh, that might be reporting results in the next couple of months. But you have to dig around for those. Usually, that's how they get one. I was in one in, in university uh, where they graded it essentially on a curve in a down market. Uh, so as long as you manage to not lose money, you basically got an A+, plus, and those who were smart enough to figure that one out, played it conservatively, others went with penny stocks. It didn't matter if you hit the home run, 
because as long as you ended up in that like 80th percentile, you're going to look at gangbusters when everyone else uh, was way deep in the negatives. Virgin Galactic, I'm showing here because I'm watching this one tomorrow. 40 level, a big one. Look at it holding court at 39.50, up 9%. So a big move on Virgin Galactic. I've ignored it almost all day long, and I hate you, Alf. It's still right here. It just won't move. And I, look, I'll be flat in the next minute or so. Um, Alf right on the high of the day and refuses to go anywhere. So uh, I was joking about it, and now it really does feel like it is going to happen. I'm going to have to get out of this. I might lose like 10 to 20 cents on the trade, which seems ridiculous because it's not a heck of a lot. That's not the plan, but it is almost 4 o'clock, and I got to get flat. I, I mean, right now, guys, I'm completely distracted. I'm looking up names for, for this guy uh, to trade through. Uh, DraftKings, man, that's a big one. We'll hit the chicken dinner winner. Uh, we've been talking about DraftKings for a while, pumping the name uh, a little bit to you guys. Uh, we did like it down here in the 30s. It just did dip down. We talked about taking some off the next time it's up here. I haven't done that yet, but I think that's a pretty prudent thing to do. Uh, but uh, anyways, there's a couple different names I gave in Galaxy uh, as well in Toronto for the crypto no. side of things. I really, really like that name. No. Only only a minute left, guys. Uh, let's get ready to rock and roll. Oh my God, I have Twitter. Just got me in uh, by accident there. So we will offer out uh, Twitter and then close that position. Come on. There it is. Nice little <laughs> win there on Twitter by accident. But we are ready to go with only 30 it's seconds. Actually, it's actually going right now. I mean, it just got to like 1645 on this alpha. I mean, I'm probably going to punch out of this one. Um, like right almost like right at the close, but it is trying to make that move. Uh, we don't need we didn't need the green today because the market's health, health Where's our up, earnings calendar? up a healthy amount, whatever, healthily up. We're up by like one percent on the overall market. I got no choice. I'm just gonna I'll cover it right here at 30. So I do get the win. It's just not nearly as big as, as I would have liked on that alf trade because I have to be flat. Let's drop that count and it's been a fun one, an exciting one, guys. And England's winning. So I, and Randy's on the bell. Oh my goodness. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ring it, Randy. I, I, didn't, I didn't even realize England was actually playing now. That, so that's why you were talking about it. I was wondering. Yeah, yeah they're playing right now. They're still, I think they're still up 1 nothing. Okay, 1 nothing. Uh, that's an elimination round, right? No, it's the third match. Oh, it's, only yeah, the third match. Okay, so no worries there. Torch, for some reason, guys, right at the close, touched 680, by the way, there. So I don't know what happened there, but a big market on close order there for Torch. Touches 680. I was watching it. That flushed like crazy down there, Torch. So, Brendan, I guess it's record highs for NASDAQ. Uh, indeed. Yeah, nice close right across the board, guys. We can have a look at uh, how things ended the day here. Uh, the S&P, half a percent, 0.3 for the Dow. Yeah, record uh, for the NASDAQ, 0.9. Uh, when all was said and done, look at Bitcoin. When we came in this morning, it felt like the world was ending in crypto land, but uh, to be down half a percent, I mean, obviously it doesn't close, but a little bit of a change, I guess, throughout the day for uh, cryptos, guys. Yes, sir. I mean, it, like, we keep bouncing off these uh, support levels over and over and over again. And uh, way to go, Sterling. He's now got two goals. He is the entire offense. That ALF is now sitting at 1640. So it, it didn't really moon to 17 even. But there's still time. It's only 4-1. We do have our trade of the day coming through. That's Plug Power, which also closed on its high of the day. So another strong one here, guys. And an unbelievable session. It's been It's a lot of fun. Uh, it, we have a lot of fun doing this, of course. But uh, I think it's going to be an even better rest of the week. The strength this market is showing, Sean. Yeah, no, it should be a good one. We're very, very excited. We do have our trade of the day coming up. I want to give a big thank you to Randy, Rob, and Maggie uh, over there on the ones and twos. So it's been a big day for us. Of course, there they are. All right. Thank you, guys, uh, for the dances there. Uh, very, very exciting. We do have our trade of the day. Thank you for Ms. V for wearing green. You got the NASDAQ to the all-time highs today as well. Uh, for Neil, good luck to England. It's third game, so I think they'll be fine. They better be. Um, and then Brendan as well. Good job on the news. A lot of news today, uh, that is for sure. So, guys, thank you. I don't know where the cameras are right now, but there they are. Okay, normally we have a three-pip uh, now, three but uh, if not, that is fine, guys. For all of us here at Trader TV Live, there Mom it is. Been here for uh, a while. Larry, the back of your head never looked any. There it is. How's it going? Okay, guys, for all of us, see ya. We're running late. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, I'll see you guys. See ya, see ya, see ya.